<laughs> what? Alright, look how beautiful this is. All the flowing river. It is very nice around here. Got that side. And then. This is very more calm and still on this side. But. Welcome to day six of the vlog. I ain't got the phone on the tripod. This is going to be a very shaky shit recording practically. I've done what I said and promised I was going to do. Hire the bike. £12 for the day. Not bad. Is, or £12 for four hours. That's pretty much the rest of the day. It's about what, one o'clock now or half twelve. Sure, I can check. Oh, it's half eleven. Blimey. I'm way ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've hired this and... If I had GoPro mount and everything, I'd bring a GoPro with me, but stuck it on and talked while, talk, talked while riding. God, my brain's not working. Now. I've only come up the um, pathway about three, four minutes, but tires are very thin. I ain't used to riding a bike like this. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit, bit shaky, a bit wobbly, and I'm used to riding bikes back in the day. Got my bag with me, but anyway, like I said, just going to chill on this uh, Little bike ride, I'll probably grab you out and show you anything noticeable, but who knows what the vlog's going to be for today. Could be a short, could be a long one. Depends how far and how many different spots I can stop at. Anyway, that's spot one for a day. Very nice. I wish I'd done this earlier on in the trip, so I knew different spots to walk the dog. Would have been very helpful, but hey, live and you learn. Always down to come here again. Very nice place. Won't bring the dogs this time because of the issue of not being able to leave them at accommodation which kind of, kind of screws everything up so in that last clip I didn't have my mic connected even though you see me wearing it in the actual phone settings you've got to connect it every time you close the camera app and yeah I've got to do so so hopefully the audio is still good enough to hear myself but anyway two three minutes down the pathway we had another bit of the river but all this information just talking about the bridge and history but yeah as you can see lovely little bridge I say little looks kind of big it is lovely it's very quiet around it I feel kind of nervous vlogging still it's that whole thing of being loud talking to yourself on the phone don't feel natural still but this river is very nice obviously I've seen a river before yeah Ooh. Right. Just stopped off at this little bridge by the cars. We're literally about five minutes up from last spot. Just adjusting my seat because my seat was quite low down and bothering my knees a little bit when I was going uphill. Didn't know it's on the flat or downhill, but yeah, that's all good now. Should hopefully I've changed the height of it to the right position. But um, yeah. Back there, obviously, I stopped the fridge abruptly. Just a lot of older people in this area. And it happened the other day where they don't understand them talking to the camera and they try and engage conversation. Or they think I said something to them and ask politely what I've said. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. Oh, he's on a proper race. But yeah. Some people got proper bikes and fucking steaming past me. Or the older's have got these um, e-bikes or assisted hybrids and they just fly past me. <laughs> Even, you can tell this 12 pound but it still does the job. Still getting my miles in. Yeah, anyway. I want to find a proper place to sit down in a bit. Have a proper chinwag. Talk about work, my future for YouTube. What I'm planning. Uh, what you guys want to see. So yeah, later on, a bit later on, try to find a good spot, just have a little chin whack with you guys. Got out of breath already. I'm telling you, that height position, the seat height, fucked my knees up coming in. It was only a gradual hill, but constant pedaling just does you in. So yeah, we'll stop off on the next notable, noticeable point or noticeable event. Look at the river here. God, just as a notice. My balls are hurting, squash like fuck. Seat's uncomfortable, but we move. Uh, that little castle ruined, I think. 
Very nice. Very sunny day. Tides out. What do I have to say about this spot? So, I've stopped I'm about five miles into this. I've just literally outside slash inside Biddeford by the first little um, bridge that you can drive over, the little small one. And yeah, absolutely shattered already. And I'm what, about four minutes into it, about five miles, which ain't bad going considering we're towards the end of the week. My legs are absolutely shot and my balls are so sore from that seat. Kept having to stand up. Yeah, it's been an all right bike ride. Oh, I don't see how anyone does this as like a full-time permanent happy thing unless you've got an e-bike then you can sort of enjoy it but at the moment i'm just shattered yeah I, I needed a proper rest day yesterday which i said in a recording didn't do much but blimmin ended the day on like 14k steps and that's a day after doing a i think 19 18k step day and it's all hills around here so these steps aren't exactly you know your average steps you're going up and downhill and that takes it out of you Oh, but yeah, anyway, I shouldn't shouldn't complain all the time. Um, I've just noticed massive fencing up there. Must be where the airport, uh, an airport is, they say. Yeah, well, I'm shattered already. <laughs> Not even, I wanted to get to Insta, but um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. More people coming down there pretty loud. <laughs> I'm not back to it. Talking to myself is so weird, especially when people are passing. That's when England, they, they understand what you're saying. When you're in a foreign country, they don't understand, so it's a bit more comfortable. And they don't necessarily think you're speaking to them all the time, whereas in England, they think you're addressing them half the time. But um, anyway, oh, I'll keep whacking my mic down there. Oh, I need to talk about like just life and job and YouTube. So obviously, I'm talking to you guys which is youtube stuff um just want to record my travel adventures and do a bit more different ideas and maybe series i want to do maybe the cheapest cruise i can afford or the, not the cheapest cruise i can afford the cheapest cruise going for a week or um buy a monopoly board or say like the cornwall monopoly edition the wales monopoly edition or certain cities wherever i roll i just go to got a couple of those ideas so just a couple of ideas in the plan that just have a good day out and vlog it. Well, I don't have to think too much. I don't have to edit too much. And job-wise, I did have a job in security. And as I was saying, yeah, had a job in security in this halfway house, which has like your... People are just down on their luck. They could be ex-prisoners, alcoholics, druggies. But two and a half, three months into it, about that final month, it was just changing there a lot. Different people coming in, people who are already there just getting worse and more dangerous or more, or too comfortable, I would put it. Too comfortable with uh, some of them being weapons, some of them getting drugged up, some of them getting absolutely smashed on alcohol. And the environment was changing there and it was just getting really bad. And when you're around that, it was four days shifts, four days on, four days off, 12 hour shifts. When you're in that environment for that four days in a row and you're doing night shifts, so you're not getting, the only interaction you're getting is those type of people. It's just ain't great mentally. It's manageable at the start, but with the people getting worse, it'll just, yeah, become unmanageable. So yeah, that's, I'll pack that in, still got you know, decent pays, but yeah, going on a few trips. I've got um, obviously this trip in Devon. I've got Turkey, going to Turkey in about three weeks for one week, and then potentially a cheap cruise for a week, and then look back into again another full time job. Hopefully, probably something in security again, but then I I feel like with security work, it's better to do it when you've got another security person with you because. At least you can have a chin wag all day and all all day or all night throughout the shift and it just goes a bit faster, it's a bit more comfortable. But yeah, other than that, you know, life's alright. Hopefully the YouTube does half alright. I want it to be sustainable where um the YouTube videos pay for themselves. I don't wanna I don't need to get a wage from it if you get what I mean. Like that's not my goal. 
if it's sustainable where they pay for themselves that'd be brilliant because i'll get the live experience out of doing the youtube videos but we'll see any time can tell just gotta put the effort in but yeah I'll probably go back to this bike ride try to get insta or insta i still want to search up what it's called but <laughs> yeah we'll see try to get there but i know just past Biddeford, there's a fucking hill up to it and it as soon as you reach the Tesco's that me and my nan get to, it stinks for about a mile there, so bad. So if I start smelling that, I will turn back. When we drove up there, we had to close the windows. It was that bad. I could have been sick, but we'll see. All right, well, let's get to it. So, I've noticed in a lot of the clips, I've been beginning to use my mic as my bad, but oh, this whole trip has taken it out of me, to be honest. So, I think I'm just past Biddeford. Oh, but here's that huge bridge I was on about. Look at it, if I'm in a point for, I don't know, it's just huge. I don't know why they made it so big. Oh, I'll have to search it up, but there's no reason it should be that high for this little river less flooding obviously oh, I don't know. it's starting to smell like shit like i said so i'll see how much i can cope with this little journey to install but it's already bad enough um fuck you know so bad <laughs> doing bad but yeah i thought i'd just update you guys it's been like probably half hour since the last update with you guys i was on the phone to my grandparents my other grandparents who were meant to come up today because they're staying down the road. Or oh, well, a minute come up the other day, their car still hadn't been fixed, so they're stuck in Southampton. It's just unfortunate, especially when you're paying for accommodation, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Anyway, let's see if we get in style, if we can cope with the smell. Shoot me. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. <laughs> nah. So, I actually, let's point that way first. That massive bridge I've just come from is over there. You can see that. Zoom right out. And then, installs that way. That's where we're aiming for. We're not too far now. I'll update when I'm there. But my knees are shot. So, oh, I've just arrived into Insta, Insta. I think I've got about two and a bit hours left on my bike hire. But yeah, gonna grab something to eat, probably sit down somewhere for a little bit. My bike is just parked up there. And there we are. I am shattered and I've got about an hours bike ride back, so grab something to eat quick. I'm going to have a little 10 minute break for myself a steak pasty for I had the other day. For myself a latte from John's over there. Did you find an apple door as well? Apple door and install. So you made it all the way install. My bike's parked, literally parked up. Fucking, it's not a car, mate. But there's a sign for install. I'm somewhere over here. Got my bike locked up. I think I'm over here actually. Can I see my bike? I don't think so. It's somewhere over there anyway. <clears throat> Absolutely tired. I think I've got about two hours to get my bike back. We'll see how well we do. I don't mind paying an extra fee if I'm late. Such a hot day. I'm on, I haven't rode a bike for about two years. Maybe even longer to be fair. So getting back into it. God. Yeah, knackered. <laughs> Gonna be good for fitness though this, this whole week. Made over 10k steps each day easily. 
Now this fat bike ride. Interesting. Well, probably catch up on some stops I'll do on the way back, maybe. If not, see you back at the cottage. So I'm on my way back, and this is a little cafe here. Because Targa Trail was an old train station, a train railway line, you've kept a bit of heritage, made it into a cafe. Whew. I am knackered. I'm walking at the moment. <laughs> my knees are now shattered, but look at this, yeah. we travel through. <sighs> Which is a bit out of even surface because I'm riding on this, my ass hurts. <laughs> Oh, pretty cool though. Wonder where the tunnels lead off to. Oh. 30 miles per hour, I'm going faster than that. Fuck your speed limits. <laughs> I'm so bad, so sad. I'm that good. I'm dying. <laughs> Just a quick little update, been a little, I think you might see it behind me, just obviously done a bike ride about 20 minutes ago, handed the bike in and that, checked out, and then grabbed some stuff from Lidl for dinner tonight and a little bit of snacks and whatever my nan wanted, Pepsi's, yeah, I think that'd be mostly it for today, so if I don't record anything else, catch you tomorrow or, or in a bit.